I love the winter. Did that look realistic? Mm, not really. I think they can tell that I haven't left the house in a week. I might have not left the house in a week, but my life is still very exciting. Thanks to the G2A winter sale. G2A, the world's largest marketplace for digital products, is now even more exciting. Dive into a world of gaming, get that software that you've been eyeing for a while, pick up a gift card or even an e-course to master a new skill. And the best part, massive discounts on your favorite products. Available through the end of January. Go to www.g2a.com slash winter dash sale to find all these amazing deals. And hurry up because the clock is ticking. It's IVP and I'm going to be your therapist today. Okay. So I hear that you've been having a little bit of pain on your back. Okay. Upper back mostly. Okay. So I'm definitely going to be doing a few tests to assess the pain and exactly where it's coming from and we'll see what we can do to help you today, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Can you tell me when the pain started? Okay, about a week ago. Did you do anything out of the ordinary that might have caused that pain? You know? Okay. Do you exercise regularly? Three times a week. Is there anything that has changed in your routine in these past week? No. Okay. What's your sleeping position? Do you usually sleep on your belly, on your back? Are you a side sleeper? Your side. Okay. And the mattress that you've been using, have you been using that for a while? Is it relatively new? For a while. Okay. There's nothing that seems it has changed. So I'm going to take a look and then we'll see what we can find out. to turn around on your belly so I can take a look at your spine, okay? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Just gently palpating the back. I'm trying to see if I can find any areas that are especially inflamed, any lumps, or just anything out of the ordinary. Okay. I'm gonna be palpating like right along the spine. I'm just Checking for any deviation of the spine, any abnormal spaces between each vertebrae. I know you mentioned that your pain is mostly located on the top, the upper back, but still going to be assessing. Okay. Okay. 
be a little bit of just a very slight deviation of the spine that is pretty noticeable on the thoracic spine but it corrects itself as we go down to the lumbar area okay so the pain that you're feeling might be might be referred pain which means that even if it's the problem is located in the thoracic area it's affecting mostly your upper back your upper back just might be trying to compensate for this deviation Okay, so I'm going to have to take a few measurements here. You can just go ahead and relax. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure I document everything that's going on. Okay. Okay. starts about 20 centimeters down the base of your neck and that's about just under eight inches just for reference I know you might go by inches usually and the uh, most affected area is it's about 12 centimeters long again that's almost five inches we go further down yeah seems to be correcting itself right around here just palpating the affected area there's a few more things that I want to assess right here of the mint line. Be doing a few marks on your back. sure there's nothing no abnormal changes of temperature right around this area which can sometimes indicate some muscular injury Hmm. 
Okay, that seems pretty normal. Right about here. Okay, I'm gonna try to fill each of the spaces in this area. So just making sure that your vertebrae are equally spaced. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to be using this tool that has some sharp spikes all along it. It's not gonna hurt, they're not very sharp. But what I want you to tell me is if you can feel anything abnormal, if there's any pinching, any sharp pain along your spine, any tingling, numbness, no okay? So I'm gonna be sliding this a couple of times. Is that okay? Yeah. No, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to doing a similar thing. This is an object and it's pretty cold to the touch. So I just want you to tell me if you can feel it all along your spine or if there are any areas where you don't feel it, okay? Do that a couple more times so I'm going slightly on the side of the spine. Okay. The other side normal as well. I'm going to do two different tests. Now I'm going to be using my reflex hammer. And I'm going to be tapping all along your spine, okay? Does that all, all feel normal to you? I definitely find some issues, like I mentioned, along your thoracic spine. However, your vertebrae seem to be equally spaced. There's a little bit of deviation that might be caused by the muscles that are pretty tight on either side of the spine. So we're going to try to target those and hopefully that resolves the problem. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start 
start applying a little bit of pressure on the area using these hot stones. They're going to feel pretty warm to the touch. Yeah, they're pretty warm. They feel good. Okay, just go ahead and expect my touch, please. It feels pretty warm, but it's good, right? Yeah. Okay. This is great. So now I'm going to be applying a little bit of oil. This oil is anti-inflammatory, so it's going to help us with those issues you're having right now in your bath. I'll be right back. I'll just grab a towel just in case we spill a little bit. I'm just going to be placing this right here, okay, and then one just right by your neck, just so we don't get your hair dirty. It's just going to help clean anything that spills. Make sure that I warm this up with my hands. I'm going to start just gentle circular motions just along this area. Now we're going to try to get rid of any knots. We are going to be using this massage tool. It's just a wooden tool and I'm going to be using this with my hand.
Okay. I'm being massaging away from the spine. Okay, how's that feeling so far? Better? Okay. Okay, so now let's be trying to go a little bit deeper with my hands. Loser. Okay. Yeah, it's vanilla sand. It smells really good, right? Placing the warm stones in this area. One more time. I'm gonna be wiping off your back. Just make sure, just to make sure we don't get your clothes dirty when you get back dressed. I'm using this towel. changing my gloves just so that I don't 
leave any oil behind on your skin since we already cleaned it. a final assessment, okay? I want to see if there is any inflammation left over so that I can let you know when you should try to come back and see me, okay? Okay. There's a tiny bit of inflammation. It shouldn't really be bothering you as much as it has. But... You should be coming back to see me, I would say in a week. But then you shouldn't need much more, many more sessions after that. I'm just going to do a final test here. Can you please tell me if there's any pain? No? normal. Okay. I'm going to be tapping on a couple other spots. Is there any pain on your right shoulder at all? Left shoulder? No. Okay. So that's it for today's session. Do you have any questions for me? No? Okay. Well, you have a rest, um, wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in about a week. Okay. Bye.